Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman and today we are talking about perfectionism and what does it mean when we are perfectionist? Perfectionism, I mean, it is a illness, a mental illness and um, it's it's something that keeps us from just going out there and living life and being imperfect human beings and I think that's the most important thing is just going out and trying your best and you know doing your best and failing and then getting back up and succeeding you know trying trying and trying again basically so I mean if you are a member of the channel if you are a subscriber, I think I owe it to you to be honest with you about what's going on in my life. And to be honest, for the past, you know, few weeks, I really have been, um, you guys may have seen this in the videos or whatnot, but uh, I have been feeling pretty crappy. Um, I think that's a fair assessment. Just maybe not wanting to make videos every day for you guys and things like that. Just feeling tired and maybe it's something to do with my health, but I think it's also to do with um, I'm working the 12 steps in a 12 step program. Um, you know, it's a a way for me to psychologically mature and evolve and, you know, make my life the best that it can be. And so, you know, no, no drinking problem or anything like that to that effect, but it is, you know, uh, something that I'm doing for my greatest good. So anyway, um, yeah, so 12 step program. It's going great, you know, it's really helping. And that's about all I'm going to say in regards to that. Um, you know, so what I find a lot a lot of the time with with most people, even myself, is that I, you know, I say, oh, my work isn't good enough, and whatever, and it's this, this, uh, stigma of being imperfect, about be being perceived as, as imperfect, and things like that, that keep me from doing the work, but, I mean, like, for the past few weeks, I've been feeling crappy and haven't um, really had the energy to put into making a lot of good videos for you guys. Um, and so I've just been kind of putting minimal energy into it, but I do at least try. <laughs> you know, I do, I do come on here and I, I do my best. I try my best at the in the moment, you know, the, the, with the energy that I do have, I try my best, so, um, so yeah, um, even today it was a struggle to come on here and make videos for you guys, <laughs> um, but that, that's the thing, guys, that's what separates people, like, that, that's what, I'm not going to say what makes some people better than others because that's not true either. We all are loved. We all have equal value to the universe, whether we do things or don't do things. But, you know, just making an honest effort to try different things, try new things, and try to give, give it your best is important. And I think a lot of people are deterred from going after what gives them uh, happiness and enjoyment out of the fact 
that they're not going to be good at it and they're not going to be perfect when they first start so it's like it can be very intimidating for people to go after their passions and things like that so I mean in fact you know recently I started taking up piano I there's a piano that you can't see right over there but I, anyway um you know I I learned it when I was in middle school or high school or can't remember when but yeah I learned piano and then I just kind of put it to the side and went on with my life and but now that I'm getting back into it I'm like oh yeah I I kind of suck <laughs> I'm not as good as I used to be but um you know but that's okay it's a learning cur curve so I mean you the same principle can be applied when you when you when you do anything in life is um, you know, yeah, you're going to suck at it at first, but then, like, you know, over time, you'll get better. So, I find a lot of people, like, I, I ask them, why don't you just go after what you're passionate about? Why don't you just do what you, what you love to do, and then, you know, get back into what you used to love as a kid and things like that. And so they'll say, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not any good at that or I, I, you know, I'm whatever. Their, their own limitations and things like that, their own um, kind of negative feelings about themselves. Oh, I can't do that because, because I'm not worth it or I'm not, I don't, uh, I don't feel good about myself to do that. Well, that may be true, but the more, but like, you're actually doing a, doing yourself a disservice if you don't go after what you love to do. You're actually doing yourself a disservice when you don't do what, what you love to do. Because what you love to do, see, the universe put put that in you, put that love in you, um, for a reason. And so, when when you say, "Oh, but I'm not good enough. I'm not. I'm not talented enough. I'm not capable enough to do that." You're basically telling the universe, um, you know, you're, you're basically spitting in the universe's face. You're basically telling the universe that, uh, that it shouldn't have given you that gift, that, that longing to, to be the ballerina or the MMA fighter or the, you know, arts and crafts person, the that renovates antique furniture and things like that. I mean, you're basically telling the universe that you don't, that, like, you're basically shaming the universe. <laughs> In a way, it's, it's like saying, why did you, why did you make me want this when I can't do this? It's like, come on. It's like, the the second that you end up going after your passions and doing what you want to do in life, the second things start working in your favor. I've experienced this in my own life. Yeah, I'm feeling crappy right now, but I mean, if I, if I hadn't done the work every day to get to where I'm at now, then it wouldn't have panned out the way it has. You know, so it's it's a growing process, a learning process, and so I guess what I'm trying to tell you guys is like perfection. You know, that's a that's a that's an a false illusion. Like no, nobody's perfect. What do you 
what do you define as perfect? Okay, now go ask your friend what what does he or she define as perfect? Perfect. Now go ask your neighbor. There's going to be it's it's not set in stone. Basically, it's it's subjective. Perfection is subjective, and so the way I like to define things is. Um, did I perform to my standard? Did, uh, did I perform to my own standards? Did I give it the best? Did it, did I put all of my energy into it? Did I do it to 100% of my capability? Yes or no? And if it's yes, fantastic. If it's no, okay. The universe still loves me. I'm still loved, and so are you. So it really doesn't help us to, you know, compare ourselves to others about what what he or she is doing and what and how big of a house they have and a car, how fancy a car and whatever. Just live for yourself, you know. Might heart might might uh, sound harsh, but screw everybody else. Don't worry about what they're doing, and just go after what you want to do, what you're passionate about. Cause nobody else matters, or nobody else should matter to you more than you matter to yourself. Okay, so, um, you know, there's, I find that a lot of people are just struggling and not going after what they really want to do in life. It's like they want to be a creative arts and crafts person. They want to be an artist. They want to be a, a you know, they want to res restore furniture. They want to do all kinds of things. But what's holding them back is this idea of perfection. They think that they have to be more than they are in order to do that, in order to accomplish that. When that's not the case at all. You are perfectly capable of doing your best right now. And your best is good enough. A lot of pe a lot of us didn't get that messaging when we were kids. A lot of us, you know, our parents were saying, "Okay, do better, be better." You know, you here's where you're screwing up. Here's where you're going wrong. Be be, be better at this. Do better at this. You're not doing enough. You're not giving enough. You're not being nice enough. You're not being enough, just period, enough, and, you know, so we were raised with that messaging of inadequacy and, and failure, and a lot of us, a lot of people feel like failures, but have you considered that you haven't tried? Have you considered that you might not be trying as hard as you could to achieve what you want? I mean, it's... I know I know that's true for me. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sometimes not, not on my A game and not, you know, going after what I want with everything that I have, you know, all the energy that I have, um, but at the same time, I'm doing my best, like, in the moment, you know, and I'm trying, so I feel like that's all that matters, really, it's just trying, doing your best, 
So, so yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of people have this, uh, this feeling of, like, anxiety around, you know, not being good enough and stuff like that. The universe says you are plenty good enough. You are good enough just like you are, just where you are. So it's like the, the universe is waiting for you to take action on what you want to do. And when you do take huge action, the universe will reward you on that. Yeah, it has to. Alright guys, so I think I'm about done here, so you know if you are feeling, you know, any type of way, I invite you to share your honest feelings in the comments, I invite you to ask questions in the comments, and yeah, that's about it. So. If you're interested in any of my products, services, courses, everything that I have to offer here, you can go to gebotheshaman.com and check that out. Alright, so I have my Vedic Astrology Certification course. Which is basically when you take that test, you become a certified Vedic astrologer, I give you your website, I give you a PayPal button and everything to, you know, start making some money. Alright, and then we have the Vedic astrology readings on sale, so you can check those out. We have career readings, we have relationship readings, we have just the uh, standard reading that I do for all, all my clients. And then we have the birth time rectification, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out. That's for people who might not know their exact minute of, minute of birth or birth time. Uh, you know, just give me a window and I will work within that to find your birth time to, down to the minute. And then we have the uh, distance energy healing, so that's very powerful. Uses Qigong, Reiki energy healing, and shamanic practices to basically heal you from the inside out. No matter if you're going through, you know, something physical, something mental, emotional, spiritual, whatever. Um, that's all handled with the distance energy healing. And then we have the uh, career coaching and life coaching, so if you're not sure what your passion and purpose is, then you can check that out. Uh, we have the Qigong courses, so uh, Cosmic Qigong and Self Transformation Challenge. Both of these courses are very powerful, very healing, then are very energetic, ener energizing, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that does it for me. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.